Good morning, guys. Welcome to day three of our week as we are journeying through the song, How Deep the Father's Love. I want to invite you guys to invite other people to be a part of our time. So now is the perfect time to do that. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram, and all of those links are in the descriptions. Today, we are looking at verse three, and we're going to start reading with the passage in Ephesians. I'm starting in chapter 3, uh, verse 16. It says that according to the riches of his glory, he may grant you to be strengthened with power through his spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you, being rooted and grounded in love, may have strength to comprehend with all the saints what is breadth and length and height and depth, and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled with all fullness of God. Now to him who is able to do far more abundantly than all that we ask or think, according to the power at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations forever and ever. Amen. There really is no genuine reason why we should gain from the reward of Jesus and the place where our heart is can go sometime is to a place of privilege. And I think when we walk through certain seasons, it allows us to redial that and to pull back and to examine ourselves and see that in all things, no matter who we are, what we've done or where we've been, we are not worthy of Jesus as being our ransom and sacrificing his all and all that we receive from him. So it should humble us, but in return, it gives us the strength. His spirit fills us and reminds us in no matter the season, no matter what we are walking through, especially in a time right now where everything around so many people are collapsing and uncertain and fear that is settling in. Jobs are being lost. Families are genuinely being hurt. We have the strength to stand because of Christ Jesus and how he fills us. It doesn't mean that we will boast as the the lyrics of the song says, I will not boast in anything. But the power that the Lord has given us, we should be proud and be willing to proclaim and share that and honor him. There's a huge difference in boasting and praising and celebrating what God is doing or has done in our lives. Because of Jesus, we have the strength. His spirit has filled us to stand when we get a diagnosis from the doctor that literally tells us our body is failing or when financial things fall through and we are unable to know how we are going to provide for ourselves or our families for tomorrow. We find ourselves filled with strength to stand when there is nothing else on this earth mentally telling us that we should stand. Our spirit is able to stand because of who Jesus is and dwelling within us. And when we are rooted in him, we find ourselves being able to have peace in the middle of the most chaotic, life-altering, fear-feeding storm that we can be walking through. So today, my heart's desire as I sing through this verse and for the rest of this day is for us to just realize that no matter what season we are in, there is power in Jesus. There is strength in him that his spirit fills us with, that allows us to move, to live, to breathe, and to love un- beyond, way beyond our natural instinct as humans. So let's lift this up and let's thank Jesus for his sacrifice as we continue through this week celebrating the life the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. I will not boast in anything. No gift, no power, no wisdom. But I will boast in Jesus Christ. His death and resurrection. Why should I gain from his reward? I cannot give an answer. But this I know with all my heart, that his wounds have paid my rent. 
Why should I gain from his reward? I cannot give an answer. But this I know with all my heart. His wounds have paid my There's no way to justify why we should gain all that we gain from Jesus' sacrifice. But I will celebrate that. I will live my life forever in awe of what he has done and thank him for living, dying, and being arisen from the dead just so that I could live and experience what true love and true life was like. Thank you guys so much for joining me, and I look forward to being with you here tomorrow morning as we actually step into a new song. You guys have a blessed day.